Hey guys, today we're going to learn about the Linux SSH command. It's used to get a secure connection to a remote host and get a shell on that host. SSH like this. You know, I'm going to show you a real host. So IP. So my current IP address is going to be this guy right here. So I have another host on the same network. So SSH, if you want to SSH into a host, paste the, I'm going to change this to two. You can SSH into this host. And notice by default, it uses the current user that you're logged in as. Now, if you want to specify a different user, you could go like this. You could say user two. At, and you're gonna, it will attempt to SSH as user two rather than user one since I'm logged in as user one right now. Now, normally it's bad practice to SSH as root. Normally you SSH as a, a, a regular user and then sudo to root. Um, any case, you can also so you can SSH to an IP address or you can SSH to a host name like this host name was Banyan. I could SSH to this, paste. And then you go SSH in. Now you can specify the username. Like you, you could say user one at if you wanted to, or some people, I believe you can actually use a dash L. Some people, you'll see some people do this. It doesn't make as much sense to me, so don't do that. So that's how you SSH to things. Oh, one other thing I should show you is if you want to use a key file. Um, if you name, if you have a default name in your SSH directory, I'm not going to show you how to create those keys today. Um, but if you, you, if you name it a, a standard generic name in your SSH directory, you don't even have to specify your SSH key. It's just going to use it by default. But if you have like a strange key you downloaded from Amazon or something, you can specify an exact key that you want to use like this. Specify the path to the key you want to use and then just SSH in. So that's how you'd use an SSH key. So hopefully you found this useful, if not just interesting. Um, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know or any comments, questions, criticisms, anything you want to say, I want to hear it. But also definitely hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of other great tech content you just don't want to miss out on. So uh, definitely hit the subscribe button. We do like coding, Linux, servers, hardware, software, electronics, networking, all sorts of great stuff, robots. Don't miss out on that. Definitely hit the subscribe button and also hit the, the little bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube won't give you notifications when new videos get posted. And also check out the list of videos we've already published. We have a ton of great content out there already. So definitely check that out. And that's about it for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.